Today I am speaking a few lines on the monument of India. First of all, what is monuments? Something that serves as a memorial is known as a monument. It could be a building, a pillar, a rock or a statue honoring a person or an event. The first one I am talking about is the iron pillar, low stump. The iron pillar of Delhi is a structure that is 7.21 meters high with a diameter of 41 centimeters. It is known for its rust resistant composition of metals used in its construction. The inscriptions on it indicate that it was built during the early period of the Gupta reign, 320 to 495 AD. It is also believed to be built in the respect of the Hindu god Lord Vishnu. The second now, the second one I, will, I am talking about is the Vikti Tower of Vijay Stam of Chittorgarh, Rajasthan. It is a nine-story tower which was built in 1440 AD. Vikti Tower was built by Maharana, uh, Maharana Kumbha to celebrate his victory over Muhammad Khilji. There are 157 narrow steps leading to the beautiful terrace of the tower. A visit to this place will fill your heart with proud for our great history. The third one is India Gate. It is situated in Delhi. Foundation stone of India Gate was laid in the year 1921. It took 10 years to complete. It stands as a memorial to 84,000 soldiers of the British Indian Army who died in the World War I. It is also known as India War Memorial. There are uh, 13,516 names engraved on uh, three, 13,516 names of Indian and British soldiers engraved on it. Amar Jawan Jyoti, which is also an important part of India Gate, was built later as a tribute to the soldiers who died in the Indo-Pakistan War of December 1971. The, <coughs> the last one I will be speaking about today is a uh, Vivekanand Rock Memorial. It is a uh, it is a monument and a popular tourist attraction. It was built in 1970 to honor Swami Vivekanand, the great Hindu monk, philosopher, author, religious teacher, who was said to have attained enlightenment on the rock. The list of monuments is too long, but. There are uh,